As a chef, I cook with a ton of different ingredients. One ingredient that I think is often overlooked, beer. That's why we're here at Weiler Road in Logan Square. You guys told us that they had a beer-infused sandwich that we had to try. So Chris, tell me a little bit about Weiler Road. It's a bunch of friends here in the neighborhood. We wanted to have a neighborhood joint. We can get good food in a casual atmosphere and just have a nice night out or a nice afternoon for lunch. It's got a really good like neighborhood environment. I live right down the street. And it's literally a block away from where we live. Weiler Road always give me good. Date Plate Shy tagged us on Instagram with a photo of one of your beautiful sandwiches, and that's why we're here. All right, well, we owe them. We heard that you have a killer beer cheese, grilled cheese. We do. All our draft beers are from the Midwest region, a lot of them right here in Chicago. A nice way for us to pay homage to all the stuff that's out here. Well, who am I cooking with today? You're going to be cooking with Chef Suit. Hopefully you won't lose any fingers or get any burns, but it is a grilled cheese, <laughs> so there shouldn't be that much oven time. Cool. Sounds good. We've got a Goose Island Four Star Pilsner. That'll work. To mash with our cheese, so where do we get started? This is just a giant blob of American cheese. It tastes like freedom. A bald eagle flies yeah. and then drops it off to me like every day. Where does the beer come in? Right now. Okay. Just dump it in there. Ah. Gently. Woo! There it is. What does the beer do for the cheese, other than getting it nice and boozy? Lends it a nice, like, kind of savory, umami type flavor. Diced onions, Worcestershire sauce, and garlic powder go into the pot. While that melts, we build the rest of this bad boy. What kind of bread are we using? This is marble rye. And we got three pieces going. It's an actual serious grilled cheese. Tomatoes and caramelized onions hit the grill. And we're ready to stack it up. This is a two cheese affair. Is that the title of your memoir? At least like one chapter of it, for sure. <laughs> now, where's our beer cheese? Oh man, is it ready? Just slather that on there. Spatulate that on of there for me. Spatulate? Is that a verb now? It is now. I got another one. Flip this on top of that. Spatulator number one. <laughs> Before we can eat, I gotta give the neighborhood a taste of this grown-up grilled cheese. Who wants some samples? Can I tempt you away from that salad? I think so. Beer cheese, beer cheese, sure. Right? How can you resist? It's a little bit boozy. I really like the beer cheese. I can really taste the beer and the caramelized onions. It's grilled and it's warm and it's cheesy. What's not fun about beer infused food? We've infused the beer into these sandwiches. Now it's time to infuse ourselves. The best part. Cheers. Cheers. I am super excited to dig into this. Crispy on the outside, creamy on the inside. This is the mark of a good grilled cheese sandwich. You got all that, all that greasiness on your hands. It's America, man. The cool thing about a Pilsner is that it kind of like cuts through like the richness of the sandwich. I mean, there's so much butter and cheese and like caramelized onions. I mean, really just like washes it down. What makes Weiler Road Chicago's best? Um, Chicago's a city of neighborhoods. We're a neighborhood joint, and what we're trying to do here is offer people an honest plate of food backed up by a really awesome draft beer list. You know, we're like really proud of that. Brittany, we miss you, but I'm kind of excited I got to fill in and eat this sandwich. So when you're ready, head on down to Weiler Road and try this grown-up grilled cheese. <laughs>